Welcome back to The Tool Crib. Today, we are gonna be taking a first look at a multi-tool that I have been anticipating for quite a little while now. This is the Toller Tools. I don't know if it's the Union or if it's the Omni Lock, uh, but this is from Toller Tools. It's their new multi-tool that has been in the works for a little while now. Now, I wanna say a special thanks to Dominique from Max Level EDC, who got in touch with Mike, who's the owner of Toller Tools, and uh, to, to check on the progress of this. Now, what Mike has done is he's fulfilling his Indiegogo orders right now, and he has set aside a few of these as uh, samples to send out to reviewers. So I am especially grateful to both Dominic and to Mike for being able to get hands on this particular multi-tool. So what we have here is we have the tool itself and we have a couple of horizontal carry leather cases, one in black, and one in brown. We're gonna get to those in a little bit. Let's set those to the side. Let's get the tool opened up and see what it's all about. So first things first, let's look on here on the back. So on the back, it says Union. Uh, this is the Omni Lock with ratcheting self-adjusting wrench from quarter to three quarter or seven to 19 millimeter, a bit extender, pliers, the knife with a D2, three and one eighth inch blade or 7.94 centimeters, wood saw, metal saw, file, all four bit uh, driver bits, including number one, number two Phillips, a flat and a 332 hex. This is made by Toller Tools. Uh, or designed by Toller Tools in Columbus, Ohio, and it is manufactured in China. So let's get this baby opened up and see what we've got. So we'll get through here first. And set this to the side. And here we go. So I guess this is called the Union. Before using your Union, please visit tollertools.com start for instructions and important safety information. So right now we're just gonna do a first look at this. I imagine this, this multi-tool is a little involved. So I'm probably gonna need a few days with this to really get the ins and outs of this particular multi-tool. But I wanted to show you guys what this thing is all about to start with. So I could tell you right off the start that this thing is pretty hefty. So let's set that to the side. It comes with an integrated pocket clip. That is kind of nice. Let me just uh, set the boxes to the side here and we'll kind of go through this thing. So this particular unit folds out. There is a lock here that will allow you to, that's nice. It kind of locks in place there. So it will swivel out and then there's a catch here where you can turn it and open it up and this thing does disassemble but it may take me a little while to get all this figured out i'll probably have to go to their start guide so here's our wrench this is kind of one of the cool things so one of the, i guess we'd either have to separate them or we want to open this up full in order to use the wrench now to operate the wrench it is a simple pullback and i'll tell you what i'm going to pause here for just a second i'm going to get a, get a, a couple of pieces of hardware and see how well this works Okay, so playing around with this just a little bit, I figured out how these two parts come apart. So what you have to do first is get the pliers out, snap those in place, and then your pliers will come off and then it'll separate from the two tools. So now I have a couple of pieces of hardware here. This is uh, 3 8 and 5 8 so it's gonna be um, 9 16 and 15 16 I don't think it's gonna get around on this one, but yeah, it actually does. So you can see that how that grabs on that larger hardware there. So the top catch catches it and then the spring tension holds that in and then it allows you to, now they don't specify that it goes up to this size. I just wanted to grab a piece, see if it worked. So now we'll check it with the standard uh, 3 8 or uh, 3 8 bolt, which is gonna be 9 16 and it seems to work pretty good. Now, uh, obviously this is just a first look, so I'm gonna be doing a lot of testing with this to see how well this holds up. Now, a couple of other things that we have on here. So first of all, we have the bit extender. So it looks like it just holds on there with a spring clip. You pull this out, you're able to set it into this portion, and now you have a driver, which is kind of cool. All right, so I think that that uh, is the extent of this side. So this one has the clip, the wrench, the extender, which locks into place right there. And then we'll look at the other side. So let me set those to the side. Now you saw how we opened up the pliers on this one. And this one provides uh, 
me see here. So yeah, it closes down pretty decently. And the fitment on there, there's a very slight movement with it. Uh, the pliers are a little bit small by comparison to a lot of other pliers. So it's going to have your, I don't know if we call that a needle nose. It's a little broad for a needle nose, but uh, your thin pliers, your regular pliers, wire cutters, and that does include a notch for hard wire cutters as well. Now, let me put this back together real quick. So to set this back together, we want to set the tool inside here on the pins. And granted, uh, I'm not... Uh, I'm not real familiar with this tool just yet, so this is probably a lot easier process than what it's looking to be uh, on camera right now. So let me set this up. I want to check out the knife blade. So this is a D2 knife blade, and that's actually a pretty nice blade. Let me see how well this thing cuts. I got a little bit of paracord here. We'll see if it gets through this stuff. Oh, it comes out very, very sharp, so not bad at all. D2 is not my favorite blade steel, but uh, it it does do the job. So to get these other tools out, let's see, we have, oh, nail nicks up the top. So included with this, you have your saw. You have, looks like a metal saw on this one, a small file and an all, an all point on the, on the file itself. So the file is only... Uh, hatched or notched on one side. So you have your cross cut file on this side, metal saw. I believe that's what that said earlier, wasn't it? So we have, yes, wood saw, metal saw, file all, four bit drivers, and then the wrench itself, uh, as well as the pliers. So these do not lock in place. Now that is one, well, maybe I, maybe I misspoke. Let me see here. So I'll set this down no actually it does lock in place you can see that it has the lock mechanism here and it has the notches included for it so all these tools do lock in place now it's a little bit cumbersome uh, being as you have the wrench it's right it takes away some of the usable portion now to to do this we'd want to either separate the tool or get it opened up here and likely you'd want to separate the tool it's a it's a little different uh, let's see. And so it's a, is it a slip lock? No, what you have to do is you have to, because that notch is so deep in these tools, you have to open up another tool to get the notch to release so that you can fold these down. So they do have, and this one has a little nail nick. They do have a lock mechanism that locks them in there pretty solidly. So you do have, again, the file with the all point, and that all point is incredibly sharp. But to release them, you have to bring up another tool in order to get that uh, retention piece to go down far enough so that you can close them up. So this is sort of like what the original Super Tool did. It was sort of set up the same way where it didn't have a, a, re a thumb release or a place where you pushed it down to release it you had to open up a tool in order to be able to close them so it's similar in that regard now let's see how do uh, there's also another piece here so you can use this on two different places for this uh, for the wrench here or for the extension so you have that one and then you have the top one so you can use this by itself as well so let me catch that catch down now one thing about that lock is it has it has a little magnet here which grips onto the screw which sort of holds it together but it doesn't have a lot of uh it's not real solid uh, so it will hold together it's not that it's going to fly apart on you so you can kind of rattle it around that magnet will keep the two halves closed when you have it together and then you can just set that uh, driver or that little extension up to be able to use it uh, so a couple of different places where you can use this extension so Let's uh, get the, well, I keep forgetting to get that little catch. So let's get the pliers opened up here. There we go. We'll get those opened up and then the spring load will allow you to take this apart. So I want to get a couple of pieces of wire uh, to see how well the pliers work and uh, we'll check those out as well. Okay, so I have a few samples of wire here now and we're just gonna check it out and see how well they work. So the cutters, didn't get through that one too well. They, these are bypass cutters. 
that. Let me see if I get it set here or if I set it in the notch. So there is a little bit of an issue with the wire cutters themselves. So it gets most of the way through. It doesn't quite get all the way through it. And I've got a couple samples here. Let's try it on something a little bit uh, thicker in diameter, see if it works any better. So we'll set it on there and it doesn't quite cut cleanly. So this is, that's unfortunate. I was hoping that would work a little bit better than that. And then I got some old trailer wiring here. So we'll see if we can cut through any of this stuff. So this is so far one fault with this that the pliers or the cutters uh, are not as good as I would have hoped. Now let's, uh, we have another lock here. So how does this work? I wonder... I'm not sure how this lock engages or if that engages when so there's a lock mechanism here that has a spring in it but I can't really figure out how how that's supposed to work or unless when you have the tool completely closed that 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 uh, locks into place now to get the bits out let's see it looks like they just slide out from the back so they have a detent pin in them, which keeps them locked in place. Uh, the, the opposite handle keeps them uh, from coming out, and they have a little detent ball that keeps them engaged so that when they're able to store on board. And then when you need them, this actually has a little magnetic retention down at the bottom too. So the ball detent is not to set them in here. It's more so to keep tension uh, so they won't be rattling around in the case itself. And then they lock in place, and then you have the magnet. And again, you can use that in a couple of different configurations. So with this one, you can set it here. Or when the tool's closed up, you can set it on the end. With this one, pull your latch mechanism down, and now you have the ability to use it like this. So the extension is kind of nice. I wish it was a kind of a fold-out, but the way this is designed... Uh, you can't really do that because you have the pliers on one end and the, or the regular pliers on one end and then the wrench on the other side. So it's a little bit different how this one is put together. There's a lot of lot of cool design in this one actually. Okay, let me put this back together, see if I can get it back together correctly. So this one goes out and I set that pin together. And then we release the lock bring it down maybe I did that in reverse I think I did okay so let me pull this apart yeah I did I have it that that was my mistake and then we'll set this one back in place and now we're locked in place and now that those are together actually when the pliers are down oh okay so the pliers, when they're engaged, then they lock the two. That that little spring, that lock, locks the two handle sides together. So I, it's just that I didn't have the pliers folded down, so I didn't understand how that was working. But now I get it. When that folds down, this catch comes out, has a little hook on the back, which hooks in to the opposite side handle and thereby keeps the two halves together. And then if we set this back in place, which this one went in, I believe, like this. And there you have a very nice compact little set. The wrench is different. One of the things I do like about this is you see this. This is kind of the old, I think Craftsman, the early Craftsman were the ones that came out with this style wrench. Kind of that universal wrench. So it, it's not going to be as strong as you would, obviously, if you had dedicated wrenches. Uh, but this has a wide range to it. And that's one of the things that was unique about that 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 original wrench and it may not but may not have been craftsman but i think it was uh it was years and years decades ago actually uh so this is a an interesting wrench that comes with this and i can't wait to use this to see how well this will work in the real world i know that uh, it doesn't specify that it'll get it onto a fastener of this size but obviously it will so that is 15 16 is the overall size of this. And I think, again, they only claimed it to go up to three quarter. So it actually has a little bit more uh, reach than what they specified. So this one will work like in, in if you have the tool closed, it'll work to 
uh, take it off to loosen a fastener. But if you want to use it to uh, tighten a fastener, then it has to be opened up. And then you can use it in the other direction. So it seems to grab on there pretty well. But again, real uh, the only way to tell with this is going to be real world use. So uh, I'm hoping that uh, here in the next couple of days I get plenty of time to to uh, go through this. So the knife blade is actually pretty good, and I actually like the shape of that blade as well. That's a positive lock, has a liner lock on it, and as we showed before, it is pretty sharp. So, it actually is really sharp. <coughs> so, they did a nice job on that portion of it. Uh, the clip is a little... Well, actually, the clip can go... You have two two clips. So, you have the secondary clip. I guess when the two tools are apart, you can, you can use this clip uh, separate. So, you can have the tools independent of one another, or you can carry them together. But that wrench is is what I'm really interested with in this one. Uh, I'll check out the saw and the file and everything to see how well those are going to work in the end. Uh, the awl looks plenty sharp. The metal saw looks like it's going to be just fine. Uh, we'll just have to test them out to see. So this is a, a first look at this particular tool. Now before uh, we we finish with this one, so let's uh, let's bring in the cases to these. The cases look really nice. So they are wrapped in plastic. We'll just take a look at one of them. So the black one, you can see the rivets on this particular tool. This is a horizontal carry. has a dual rivet. We'll get that little guy out of there. And then your tool sits nice and flush in there. That really houses in there nicely. So this is a really nice case. And again, they have it in, in brown leather and in black leather. So... Uh, this is different for sure. I really like the wrench on here. I'm really curious to see how well this is going to work. I like the knife blade, though I'm not the biggest fan of D2. And the pliers is probably where it's lacking for me. The other tools seem to be okay, but the pliers are where it's a little bit... Uh, I wish they could have improved this a little bit more. I think the pliers themselves are going to be all right. It's the cutters could stand to be sharpened up a bit. So they they are, again, bypass cutters. But as we showed before, they're not doing a real good job of getting through that wire. So that it doesn't quite make a clean cut on there. If we twist it around the opposite orientation to pass it through, we can get through it. We had just had to hit it a couple times. Uh, it doesn't seem to cut cleanly on the first pass. So... At any rate, this is I can't wait to, to try this out for a little while. And this rotates. I wonder if that has a function for the rotation on this. You know what? I'm going to have to get a little bit more in-depth with this one and really go through. I, th I think I'm going to go through their start guide uh, I, because, you know, being inexperienced with this multi-tool, and it's, it's pretty involved. So I really need to go through their startup guide to... Make sure that I am presenting this to you in the fashion that, that it's designed to be used. But it does include the special wrench, the pliers, uh, all these other tools that we looked at. And the wrench is what is is probably the highlight of this multi-tool. So this is the Union by Toller Tools, the newest multi-tool to hit the market so far. My name is Ben. You've been watching the Texas Tool Crib. I appreciate you watching. And I'll see you in the next one.